One of the most respected jobs in the zone is the task of technician, as they keep the equipment in good condition and provide useful upgrades to protective suits and weapons. However, most technicians require special technical data to reach their full potential. Pieces of information scattered in the zone in the form of USB flash drives. Hello stalkers, and welcome to the anomalous dugout. In this video, we will show all the technical USB flash drives from Clear Sky, how to get them, and what upgrades they unlock. Starting from the swamp, the first flash drive can simply be acquired by going to the rescue of the Clear Sky outpost and surviving the second emission. The USB stick will be given by the trader as a reward, and can be passed to Novikov for a thousand rubles. After that you will be able to perform the Kevlar update on the leather jacket. The next flash drive is located in a stash called Backpack on Corpse, which can be purchased from Nimble for 800 rubles. The stash is in the middle of the swamp and only contains the USB but Novikov will pay 1,125 rubles for it and unlock the recoil upgrade for the Viper 5. Finally, the third flash drive is awarded after the position of clear sky has been reinforced. That is to say, when the mission to destroy the Renegade's base is given. You can collect the loot from the trader and give it to Novikov for 1125 rubles, unlocking the other tier 2 upgrade for the Viper 5. Moving on to the Cordon, to get one of the flash drives you must rescue Drifter first, a mission that is given by Wolf. Help the stalker to kill the dogs and bring him back to the camp. After that, Drifter is supposed to sell the coordinates of a stash containing the USB, but due to a bug he unfortunately does not. Hopefully there are mods and fixes that allow you to remove this bug, and you can still use a cheat or spawner mod to get the flash drive. The stash costs 800 rubles and is called Case Behind Junkyard. It's just next to the rookie village. Bring the USB to van to get 750 rubles. You wanna upgrade something or patch it up? The next flash drive in the cordon is in a stash sold by Shilov for 1000 rubles, called Road to the Swamp, which is right at the transition with the swamp. Van will reward you with only 750 rubles for this one. After getting these two upgrades, Van will unlock the tier 2 upgrades for the Chaser 13 shotgun. The last flash drive is located at the last military camp you need to deal with in the main quest. Deal with the soldiers and you will loot it on their commander. It can be sold to Van for 1355 rubles, unlocking the rate of fire upgrade for the AKU. Now at the garbage, there are two flash drives in stashes that can be bought from either Tooth, Vazian or Garin. The first is sold for 1500 rubles and called Corpse at the Garbage. It is located in the middle of the anomalous spawns, so it's a bit hard to get, but giving it to Limpid will reward you with 12,500 rubles. The other stash also costs 1,500 rubles and is called Dead Man's Backpack. It is easier to get, just next to the black market, and the payout is 9,375 rubles. The third flash drive is found in the basement of the black market after the bandit robbery. It is just next to Feng's PDA. This one is also rewarded with 12,500 rubles. And with these three USB sticks, Limpid will be able to fully upgrade the Seva suit, 
with closed cycle system, screening system and special body armor. Strangely, the garbage also contains some flash drives for the Agroprom technician Adar. Once again, two stashes can be bought from Tooth, Bazian or Garin. The first one costs 500 rubles and is named Cut-Off Pipe. It is on the flank of the northern pile of junk. This USB stick will be rewarded with 1125 rubles. The second stash is also bought for 500 rubles and is called Black Backpack in Wreckwage. It is located in a backpack in the southern pile of junk. Adar will once again give 1125 rubles for that one. With this data, Adar can now perform the two last upgrades for the Black Kite pistol. The last flash drive for this technician is in another stash, this time sold by General Krylov himself, for 900 rubles. This tree log near tree stash is at the north of the area, just next to the transition to Yantar. It will also make 1125 rubles and unlock the loading mechanism upgrade for the SPSA-14 shotgun. Now to the Dark Valley. There are two flash drives in stashes sold by Genja. The first one costs 2000 rubles and is called Soldier's Corpse. It is located in an anomalous zone just next to Freedom's base. Bring the USB to Yar to earn 3750 rubles. The second flash drive is in the Loot in Bushes stash which also costs 2,000 rubles. It's a backpack in radioactive bushes near the middle of the area. The reward is again 3,750 rubles. For the third USB stick, the player must agree to help Freedom after completing the main quest. You will need to capture the antennas at the swamp and the southern farm, and then eliminate the mercenaries at the factory. After the failure of their operation, the mercs blow up the tunnel and Chekhov will reward you with the flash drive. This one is rewarded with 6250 rubles. With all of this new data, Yar is now able to fully upgrade both the SVU and SVD sniper rifles. Finally, let's move on to the Agroprom. The first USB is in a stash sold by Mite for 5000 rubles, called Corpse in Radiation Hotspot. As the name suggests, the area has a lot of radiations, but bringing the info to Thunderoff will earn you 7500 rubles. The second USB is in another stash, bought from Major Zviaginsev for 4000 rubles and named cylinders on grave. The said grave is located in the northern part of the Agroprom and also contains a yellow medkit. Bring the USB to Thunder off to get 7500 rubles. To find the very last flash drive, talk to Hermit and accept his small job. You need to go inside the chemical anomaly near the swamp and find Abel's PDA deal with the bloodsucker and return to Hermit to get the last USB stick, which will earn you 12,500 rubles. Now Thunderov is able to perform the last three upgrades on the RP-74 machine gun. And that's it for the USB flash drives. It's always worth it to look for them, because even if you don't care about the upgrades, the total benefits you can make by collecting all the upgrades is 64,605 rubles. Thank you for watching, stalkers, and goodbye.